America must spend more to fix its crumbling infrastructure. That's what Transportation Secretary Anthony Fox told metro area residents today. Just a week and a half ago, a concrete uh, piece fell from a beltway overpass, crushing part of a woman's car. Seven on your side's Chris Pabst is live on Capitol Hill with what Fox is proposing. Chris? Well, between D.C., Maryland, and Virginia, there are 1,540 structurally deficient bridges that sometime in the near future will have to be replaced or have to be repaired. Now, most everyone in that building agrees the work has to be done, but what they can't agree on is how to fund it. Earlier this month, when a chunk of concrete fell off a local bridge and landed on a passing car on Suitland Parkway, U.S. DOT Secretary Anthony Fox took notice. There's no excuse for a highway or a bridge in Maryland to have concrete crumbling onto the roadway below. Today, the secretary concluded a five-state highway tour in D.C., and his message was clear. There's no excuse. The cost to fix America's highways is estimated to be in the hundreds of billions of dollars. One proposal to raise the money is to raise the federal gas tax above his current 18 cents. But Fox prefers a plan to tax corporate overseas profits at 14 percent. That's estimated to raise about 478 billion, though it has little chance of passing the GOP-controlled Congress. We could do more, build more, get more people in, in a better position to win the future. So would the gas tax go up under that plan or stay where it, it is? It stays where it is. Senator Roth proposed raising the gas tax years ago just to support rail. Nobody would go for it. I don't think it's about time. Roads start crumbling, you get potholes, you start losing money, trucks get flat tires. If the trains don't work, you can't, be, you can't get the work. So they got to find some way to fund it? Yeah. Now, after many stop gaps and temporary measures, the Highway Trust Fund is set to expire this year on May 31st, unless somehow they can act. Live in D.C., Chris Pabst, ABC 7 News.